Hey, I'm Laura. Welcome to my Laura the Explorer channel. I spent the last one year living in Limoges, France, and I was learning French throughout my time there, so it literally took me the entirety of the year to figure out simple things like where to go thrift shopping, how to rent a bike, how to take the bus, and just generally how to live sustainably in the city. I wanted to make this video to help you out if you're new to Limoges, if you're visiting, or if you're just trying to figure out how to live a more sustainable life in Limoges. Limoges is a great city in France to live in. It's big enough that it has everything you need and small enough that it feels cozy and local and small. It feels more like a small town sometimes. There's beautiful parks, some amazing markets, great street festivals. You're gonna love their Christmas market that I'm sure is happening soon. The Museum of Fine Arts has beautiful botanical garden area in their park. It's just a great city to live in, except that not a lot of people speak English. <laughs> Which, I mean, they don't need to. I'm an English person in their country, but there's certain things that become a lot more difficult, and I think you're gonna find that as well, so this video is to help you out. Some cities are a lot easier to live sustainably in than others, and although I wouldn't consider Limoges to be one of the world's greenest cities, it's definitely possible to live a sustainable lifestyle in this city, so I hope that this video is of help to you. First, let's talk about food. If you're going out to eat here, there's tons of small, locally owned restaurants. It's really easy to avoid chains here. There's also tons of restaurants that serve locally grown food. One of my favorites is Frère Tuck. It's a burger restaurant and they serve limousin beef. In fact, Limoges is a city surrounded by farmland, so it's convenient for restaurant owners to source their ingredients locally, but it's not the most inexpensive way for them to get food. So I believe in supporting the restaurant owners that do choose to shop local. When you're grocery shopping, one of the great things about France is that on their produce labels, it says where that food was grown. So you can easily choose the veggies that haven't traveled too far. There's also so many great organic grocery stores in Limoges and a couple of really great bulk stores as well. So save up your glass jars. You actually save a lot of money. I'm always surprised by how low my bill is whenever I shop package free. I think you'll be really impressed. The last note I'll make on food is the Too Good To Go app. So amazingly now, lots of cities around the world have the Too Good To Go app, but Limoges is special because Limoges has some of the most amazing French bakeries. And as you probably know by now, French bakeries really pride themselves on having only the freshest bread and pastries. So if you're a foreigner like me and you can't tell the difference between one hour old bread and eight hour old bread, you can take advantage of Too Good To Go. My last Too Good To Go order, literally it cost me, I think two or three euros for boxes and boxes of pastries and baked goods that had been made that day and just had been sitting out throughout the day. So you save a lot of money and you get lots of good baked goods that'll last you a couple of days. They just aren't as fresh as the French like them to be. <laughs> okay, let's talk thrift shopping. So I loved thrift shopping and I was actually pretty disappointed my first couple months living in Limoges because as I walked around the city, I wasn't finding thrift stores anywhere. So I did a bunch of research and I've actually created a Google Maps list of places that I'll link below for you so that as you're walking through the city you can see little flags on your map for where the thrift stores are. A lot of them just look like fancy clothing stores from the outside and then my favorite thrift store for clothing it's called Le Chat Volant Fripri I think. It's literally hidden in a courtyard in the middle of the city, like down an alley. I don't know how I ever found it on my own, but I got you Google Maps list. <laughs> Another one of my favorite thrift shops in the city. It's a little bit out of the city. If you live closer to the university area, you're right in the right area. Um, it's called La Rizoserie, and it doesn't sell clothing, but it has furniture, dishes, board games, kids' toys, anything that you would need to set up an apartment if you are new to the city. You could also grab a book from one of the free take one, leave one libraries around the city and then put it back once you've read it. 
Okay, renting a bike. <laughs> Nothing in France is easy administratively. Banking is. <laughs> But setting up a bike was a very annoying process. I actually want to go through on their website with you how to do it now because it is so worth it and it's so inexpensive. I think you should do it, but you're going to need some help. So let's do this together. Okay, so this is where you're going to go to rent your bike. It's right across from the tourism office. This is it. It doesn't look this sketchy in person, I promise. You have the option of getting a regular bike or an electric bike. In my experience, the electric bikes you need to book ahead a little bit and they always have lots of regular bikes available. Um, the prices are all here, pause this video if you want to take a closer look. But if you're a student and that's why you've just moved to Limoges, it's literally one euro a month. It does not get better than that. You will need to make a deposit though, in case you do any damage to the bike. It's 200 euro deposit for a regular bike, 800 euros if you did want the electric bike. Um, and then this is where it gets annoying. You'll need to bring into them one piece of valid ID, one proof that you do live in the city, a bill of some sort that's less than three months old, and then you also need to show that you have proof of insurance. Um, I will link this website for you down below. It does show that the site is available in English, but it doesn't work, so that's typical. And last but not least, another really simple way to live sustainably in Limoges is just by taking the bus. If you don't decide to get a bike or if you're traveling somewhere a little bit further than how far you would want to bike, um, a bus is a really great option. There's stops all over the city. It's a really easy, simple way to get around. Um, I do recommend that you get the My Bus app. It looks like this. You can buy your tickets right on the app and then you just show the bus driver your phone. And it is a little bit cheaper if you buy your tickets in bulk at the beginning and you'll save a little bit of money there. Okay, that's all I have for you for today. Please, if you have any questions about living in Limoges, I know it's a difficult place to live whenever you're not fluent in French, so please leave a comment and I'd be happy to help you in any way that I can. And if you have your own advice on living sustainably in Limoges, please comment that as well. If I've butchered some French pronunciation, no need to comment that. I am fully aware. Thank you. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And if you could give me a like if you've learned something, that would mean the world to me as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.